Hey guys, welcome back to Cells in the Fog, and we're here on season four. So we're gonna to try to swiftly move through season four, and we're in episode one. Um, we can see um, that dead captain pirate guy um, that I think we saw earlier, maybe season two, one. Right, season one. He he's the one who dragged us off of out of the water onto his ship. Um, yeah, when we were trying to escape in the boats with Clive, and um, then he took us, he said that we were the one uh, that he was looking for, but then next thing we knew, we were ended up on an island somewhere. So, yeah, okay, so episode one, the Battle of Fort Tortuga is over. Ahead is the beginning of a long journey to the end of the world. Um, so I have plenty of tea and diamonds, so anything that I need to purchase should not be a problem at all. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and swiftly move forward and press play. And so I made a bit of a roadmap because I think it's either by the end of this season or something like that. I think it's the end of this season. We're going to need 74 strength, 70 diplomacy, and 64 white magic, which is a tall order um, for sure. But... I think we should be able to manage it. Um, there's an option later where you have to choose, um, you require, you know, obviously that amount of strength and that amount of diplomacy in the same episode. And I realized um, that you could do both if you manage it. So um, it's time to finally let that come to fruition and see if I can actually manage that. I believe that you can, so I really want to do that because I want to be as prepared as possible for the end battle, which obviously is going to be with Davy Jones. Um, and that might be coming in the new episode that's dropping in just a few days, so we gotta get going. Okay, so chapter one, the Odyssey begins. Adelaide slowly cracked her eyes. Ow. Even the small amount of light hurt. Phew. She's alive. Uh, what happened to me? I don't remember. <laughs> the joyful buzzball that has spent all this time atop Adelaide's chest, as though its warmth might wake her, sprang to life. <laughs> and now he happily licked his mistress's face. Oh, no kisses. But I'm glad to see you. And she pressed the creature even closer to her. The girl began to become aware of her surroundings. She looked around. The cabin was packed with her crewmates. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we tried to use our magic um, too much and we passed out. Oh, that's right. Again, my prayers were heard. <laughs> How long have I slept? A few hours. And the weather improved. How are you? Um, I think this is a white magic choice. Fine. I'm feeling better already we need all of the white magic that we can muster <laughs> I'm telling you <laughs> oh yeah she pulled herself out of the bed <clears throat> what happened this time nothing special just overdid it a little so your magic has limits that's right but I will train as I understand it things have been resolved Jackie I'm listening why is it that the crew is still huddling in this cabin and not engaged in their direct responsibilities? <laughs> He's always on it. It will be remedied. The crew began to fuss and Riptide came to life again. By the time the girl went reached uh, the girl went reached the upper deck. The guy with the small flotilla was sailing at a full speed. Well, have you learned that you shouldn't mess with magic for too long? I had to spend more time training instead of relying on cheap tricks. That's right. I'm glad that I've inspired you to embrace your training and overcome your limits. Teacher, can I ask? Hmm? How did you get there? The world of the spirits? I'm dead, or have you forgotten? But are you not tied to the ship? In the world of the living here, I am anchored to the ship, and this prevents me from going to the farthest uh, dimensions. Which of course does not prevent me from occasionally peeking to the world of spirits. Especially since I am restless. I am a restless, unwanted soul, even in the world of spirits. Interesting. Ready to return to your duties? Yes. Of course. Where are we going? Away from Tortuga, for now, to avoid any of Diego's ships that may still sail these seas. And didn't she say that we're supposed to be going north? <laughs> asking him where you going but this should be temporary 
You said that you have a plan for putting an end to the fog and all this mess with the dead. You, as an admiral, will need to give orders on where to go. I understand. I only have part of the map. The other two parts are scattered around the seas. One is in Santo Domingo. Well, we shouldn't go there now. Diego's entire uh, protectorate is now on their toes and on high alert. And the second piece is on a remote island. I think we should start there. When we make that trip, things will calm down. And then we can calmly sneak into your homeland. Russell. Calmly sneak into my homeland? It's never gonna go easy. Sebastian brought out the map. Ooh, map of America. Show me the location. Uh, some help would be nice. We... We do not know how to read maps. Maps are one of your human inventions, but we understand the direction and distance well enough. Um, what, you set me up? They didn't set me up. We'll figure it out. I'm sure we can work with that. You know the most important thing. The rest is just a technicality. Sorry, we speak to people too rarely, and we could not have imagined. It's okay. All is well. Is everything all right? Uh, yes. Just a moment. You can read maps, right? Yes. It's not that simple. Riptide. Can you help? I would love to, but... I cannot say anything about places I have never seen. She looks so cool! <laughs> I see. Hmm. Let's start with the direction. Adelaide stretched out her hand, pointing her index finger. She gradually turned, swinging her hand across the horizon. Yes. There. West, southwest. Should I write that down? I don't trust anything, so I'm just going to write it all down. That may come back um, to bite me. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just going to keep notes. Oh, I dropped my pen. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sebastian checked the map. Hmm, this is not far away. A small British colony. We can be there in a few days. No. Not a few days. Ali will relate the spirit's words to Sebastian. What does that mean, not a few days? And he began to move his finger across the map into the depths of the continent. The coast? Farther. The Amazon? Significantly farther. Even farther. <laughs> A little more. Yes. Here. Well, well. The first mate whistled. We've never sailed those waters. The western coast. These are wild lands. Barely touched by the people of the old world. It would be a great opportunity to bring true faith to the native peoples. Oh gosh. As far as I know, the last person who attempted that disappeared without a trace. Difficulties did not frighten me. Our course is clear. Let's follow the coast closely. Follow the coast closely, replenishing our stocks at the ports along the way. Be careful. There's danger. Oh, what? Shit! Reefs! Oh. Can't be. I know these waters like the palm of my hand. There are no reefs here. See for yourself. The crew rushed to the side of the ship and stared, trying to see beneath the surface. There's definitely something under there. Is it normal for the reef to move? <laughs> we just started. We just got going. Already. They already out here trying to kill us. Oh my gosh. Okay, the sea monster burst from the water, exposing its maw. Okay, mother of God, <laughs> his face, I gotta get a picture of that face, I'm sorry, excuse me. I knew the legends didn't lie, I don't believe it. This monster, it should not be in this world, it can't be here. Utter panic engulfed the deck, 
ancient tales uh, that have long been shared in the Twilight of Taverns, which few believe, considering them nothing more than horror stories, they all came to life, a mortal threat before their very eyes. I will try to help you. Yeah, ship coming through. The monster rushed to attack, its flames flashing up the port side. Um, dodge left? Oh no. The girl avoided a blow. The creature's long fang still managed to catch her. Wait. Oh, wait, port is left? Oh shoot, I went into it. <laughs> wait, I gotta do that again. Otherwise I'll miss on a pirate ramp, I'm sorry. <laughs> port is left, starboard is right? Something like that, right? <laughs> okay, no. Because he his body was on the left, so I mean his body was on the right, so I assumed we would dodge away from him. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Restart. <laughs> Start episode one. <laughs> Alright, so we're back with the monster. Um, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, try to help you. Okay, yeah. And if it says port side again, off the port side. This <laughs> is left. We have to dodge right. Okay, here we go. You won't catch me. He did before! <laughs> His body writhed like a flailing tentacle sweeping across the deck, tearing the cells with the ridges along its spine. Roll back. <laughs> well, even if it wanted to, it could not completely leave the water, and so the serpent tried to reach Adelaide in vain. Ugh. The monster hovered over the girl for a moment before diving towards her, its jaw spread wide. Dodge to the left. Wait, what? That's not right. Apparently it is right. Uh, though the girl avoided a blow, the creature's long fang still managed to catch her. Oh, okay, wait, it is right. That's weird. <laughs> when it did that before, I messed up. Not even a scratch. You're as clumsy as an earthworm. Whatever, we got the pirate rep point, so that's all I wanted. So we did just fine. A shot struck the monster right in the eye. Take that. My turn. With a loud hiss, a grenade flew towards the monster's head. Yeah, cool. The wounded and stunned serpent dived back below the waves. I did not think that the beast will leave us alone. Prepare yourselves. Sebastian gripped the steering wheel and swung it sharply. I have to admit, I'm always very pleased when the waves made us at my helm. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> the serpent began circling below the galleon. Uh oh. Let's figure out what's happened next. Um. Okay. Like a boa constricting around his victim. What are you waiting for, you idiots? Fire all the guns at it. And Ivy's team rushed to the guns well, firing all their pistols and blunderbusses. Blunderbusses? Interesting. Serpent held seven of eight. The water grew murky, stained with the monster's blood. Here comes my crew! It seems it's time I put the bottle away. Devils, mermaids, and even angels. But this, too much. Although, this is not the fruit of my imagination. If this reptile wants to devour a ship, let him choke. Ram it. And the surprise Rambus boasts for it at the serpent's head. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> All right, six of eight. And then it smashed his keel along the creature's spine. All right, next ship. Tears well in his eyes. God, I knew. I knew that this day would come. Everything my grandfather told me was true. 
Kai fondly gazed at the shaft of his harpoon, which was engraved with a sea serpent. Every wet body laughed at me, but now my dream will be fulfilled. I will defeat Jormungand. It will be my trophy. Bring us closer. Do not fire. I will kill the snake myself. The brave captain hefted his harpoon, which was firmly tethered to the mast, and dex dexterously threw it straight at the serpent. <laughs> Kai is so funny. You will not escape. <laughs> All right. I can't believe my eyes. Many sailors lost their lives searching for this monster. And now I, Tom Good, I will be the first to bring back true proof of its existence. I will write a book that everyone will read from the city of London to Jamaica to the Philippines. And I will go down in history not only as a pirate, but also as a great discoverer. Though the small chain shot in the canisters, this creature won't get out alive. The guns of Swordbreaker roared. Bring me clean paper and charcoal. I want to capture its habits while it's still alive. Mother of the God and Andrew the Apostle. The chaplain was right here. Uh, lies the end of the world. The beast came out of the sea. And I know what this means. My family believes that the knight who began my line killed a river dragon. Hmm. Well. History repeats itself. Now it's my turn to repeat my ancestors' feet. Listen to my command. Anyone whose hand trembles will hang on the mast by morning. This is the fight of our lives. Forward. It's time for us to slay our dragon. The penitent thief bravely rushed into battle. Is blessed still not to your liking? Three of eight. Oh yeah, Clive is with us too. <laughs> Get everyone on deck. Riptide is in danger. What other horrors is in the sea hiding? Full speed ahead. Whatever it is, it must go back to where it came from. Let's try to push this thing a little farther away. It'll make it easier for the galleon to aim. Two of eight. Scream all you want. You're running out of time. Dope, 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 dope. All right, back to us. Now, we're gonna have to choose some sides. Okay. Adelaide, take control of the guns. All right. And tell me which side that snake is on. Adelaide fixed her eyes on the serpent, trying to anticipate its next move. It's on the left. Moving left. Off to the left side. Understood. Sebastian turned the helm, and the galleon deftly evaded its line of attack chew on that. Um, fire the chain shot. That's it. No. I had to look that up because I didn't know a chain shot from a canister shot or the cannon. Um, but when I went and researched them, because I did it wrong the first time. First, I fired the cannons. Um, it, it damages the serpent, and if you had all the allies, then of course it would be enough to do it. Um, but it was this, it wasn't the perfect choice for it, um, as well as the chain shot was. Now I've forgotten what I researched and why I know that was that one was correct, but I did look it up <laughs> so I could figure that out. But yeah. The howling chain shots uh, were not only perfect for crippling mass, they entangled and crushed the monster's spine. Ooh. Negative one! <laughs> yeah, because this one does like two points of damage. Uh, the, ca the cannons would do only one point of damage, and I don't know about the canister shot. I don't know what that does. The monster's eyes rolled. Painting the water with its blood, the serpent began to drown. Yeah, we got it. Cool. Not so fast. Prepare the hooks and grapnels. Pull it on board. Now we have a giant monster on our ship. Dead, thankfully. That's a big boy. <sighs> That's one ugly bastard. 
It spoils such a beautiful day. He kicked the creature's body hard. Is it safe to come up? This is like a bad dream. Nothing special. Looks like my ex. In the meantime, Riptide began to take a board guess. So, I'm the first. Frenchman gently prodded the monster's face with the toe of his boot. She, it's really here. Out of the way. I need to look it into his eyes. <laughs> I've never known such joy. <laughs> hey, get away from it. I want to sketch it in detail first. Then, of course, we need to weigh each part of it and measure every scale. Finally, that's the end of this monster. The captain knelt and recited a short prayer. I'm sure that this is far from over, but I'm glad that I had the honor of helping rid the world of this creature. Sailing into these waters to found a colony. I couldn't have imagined that I would become a governor of war and not of peace, but apparently can't escape fate. The Padre was white as snow after all he had seen and experienced. Hmm. Hmm. But he quickly pulled himself together. Well then, I think this is a sign. And what is the sign? A sign that we are on the right path. Since the devil's offering decided to get in our way. Do you never doubt that we are the good guys? <laughs> Interesting. What will it taste like? Do you really want to know? Don't you? Stew it or fry it? <laughs> I think there's enough meat for some experimentation. <laughs> the crew began to skillfully disassemble the moss taking taken trophies. I have always heard that the skin of crocodiles is used for first class jewelry. All right, we got some new stuff. Um, so we have scale gloves. These things here, fun. Um, scale gloves are black magic. The scaly necklace, which I can't see under my outfit is a uh, white magic. Then we have a scaly mask, which I don't know exactly what this gives you. Um, that's kind of cool though. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we have, we get the gloves and the necklace, which of course will give us the black magic and the white magic. I'm going to go for that because I really need a lot of white magic. Um, so I'm going to snag that. What a surge of power. It seems the skin of the serpent is a good conductor for magic. Fine gloves. I think they will work perfectly for holding weapons. I've never worn scales. It's an interesting texture. I do wonder what that, what the mask does, but that's cool. All right, we need to talk. Uh, I don't sound good. I'm listening. The snake had no place in these local waters. It was supposed to reside in the spirit world and, and guard the edge of the world. The feelings of triumph were quickly replaced by a chill running down her spine. That means, yes. The veil between the worlds has worn thinner than ever and the chaos begins. So this won't be the last surprise. We think your path will be harder than you might think. I have to go to the crew. Hmm. Attention, please. I learned some very important news. How should I tell them? Inspiringly and inspiring and soft or seriously with a warning. Um, I have a lot more to go to build up my diplomacy. So I'm going to build up diplomacy by being inspiring. Are you excited about this victory? You bet. Well, know that your thrills will only grow. The world is changing and it is in danger. Those who said the sea serpents do not exist, they were right. For it too is a creature of the fog. But now the rules have changed. These waters will be teeming with monsters and creatures of all stripes. And we are the first to learn of it. That is why we will ha have the first pick of all the best trophies. <laughs> Rah! But we must prepare well for future battles and be ready for a fight at any moment. In that case, I think we should visit the British colonies. Riptide is a beautiful ship, but even such a powerful ship will need to be strengthened. Dude, I feel 
<laughs> so plot, romance between Sebastian and the ship. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was just a random thought. I don't even know. In such class started to become a routine. The crew was tired from the fight and obviously not thrilled at the prospect of rushing headfirst along on their journey. Um, support. I need that diplomacy. I understand that we've just finished a hard-fought battle for Tortuga, and the fight with this monster was taxing. Everything is still sinking in, but we need to gather all of our forces. No one has promised you an easy way, nor a wealthy reward, but now the fate of all these lands is in your hands, and if you lose your grip, everything will slip away. I ask you to push through it all. The team silently exchanged glances and gritting their teeth enthusiastically returned to work. Yeah. After all, a long journey lay ahead. A few days later, near the English colony. Lower the flag. We're approaching civilization. Don't scare them. Besides, we still don't know how they would feel about Diego's plans or what they think about the likes of us. Sure. Take my flag. Ah. New lands. How interesting. Finally, civilization. This colony looks wealthy. Is it yours? No. But my good friend rules over these lands. So you can put a word in a word? I think it is within my power. Oh. What's wrong? This is the colony they were taking me to. To be wed. Don't worry. You're with us and nothing will threaten you. Every member of the crew will stand up for you if it comes to that. They won't let anyone take you away. Damn right. Well, try not to wander too far. We must be ready to leave port at a moment's notice. And maybe even to engage in a fight. That's right, Captain. And I'll make sure our beauty is well looked after. Maybe I have some business too? I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Rather, about Riptide. <laughs> Okay, so here we get to give uh, the ship some cool embellishments. Um, so we have Vitality, um, which gives plus two ship integrity. I would only do this if your ship is damaged. Mine is at full health. Or, I mean, unless you like the look. I personally don't, so we're going to keep on moving, but I'll show it off a little bit. Um, then we have Firepower. This looks pretty cool. This one is plus one strength. Um, then we have maneuverability, which is also pretty nice. Um, this one is plus one diplomacy. Then we have imposing appearance, and we all know this is plus one black magic. I mean, look at it. Signs of protection. Uh, this one is plus one uh, white magic. It's pretty nice. I think I might go for that. Then we have stealth, which has the stars on it, like a galaxy theme. I'm not sure how that's stealth, but um, that, that gives you plus one pirate rep. So there's that. Um, and then of course you can choose not to improve it at all, but we definitely improve it because I want the ship to look cool. Um, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and snag the white magic though. I think I definitely wanna snag the white magic here. I think. Even though I do like the way the one of the diplomacy ones look as well. Hmm. But I want to make sure every chance we get at white magic that we snag it though. Hmm. But let's get the white magic. Let's get the white magic. Let's do it. I really want to make sure that we have enough because last time we barely escaped scraped through because we made some choices for black magic somewhere in between there like i think two and that threw us off and we should have had a little bit more we would need a lot of luck on this journey i was not so superstitious before but with everything that has happened i understand i just don't want any bad energy to take hold of the ship again the improvements of the ship were soon underway plus six ship Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that also improves um, your ship's total as well, like if it was damaged. But once again, I was already at cap. Does, does that just add? Does it go past 10? I don't think it goes past 10, though. I don't know. 
I'll go snoop around and see if I can't uh, can get a good picture of what's going on around here. I like to get a good sense of this town's personality myself. I like to visit a few old acquaintances here. Old acquaintances? He knows people here? That's sketch. That's really sketch. Um, oh, but this is our chance to hook her up with somebody. Who can we hook her up with? William or Sebastian? Um, I think her and William would be a good mix. I think. I think I like the idea of that. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I can show you how to spy. Well, we'll see about that. What, do you think it's simple? I've dedicated my life to it. And I misled a whole pirate crew for many years, hiding my gender. You think that was easy? Well, I don't think it was more difficult than dodging the noose and blowing up and burning the property of a tyrant for years on end. Well, one could say you weren't entirely successful. I seem to recall a certain news. You got me there. <laughs> yeah, those two were fun. I wish to walk along these streets. Why would you want that? I want to see what my future would have been. I think I can show you this city better. <laughs> okay, Lorenzo and Sebastian. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I'm for it, I'm for it. Okay, we're hooking up our crew, playing matchmaker. This is really cool, okay. So good to know you still get the option, even if you're with Jackie as well. I will protect you from any trouble. I trust you completely. Perhaps it's better not to. Why? You could get burned. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So, we have some hookups around. Everybody's pairing off. Very, very cool. I like it. I'm down for it. Okay, I like that. And then something distracted Adelaide's attention. I feel a power nearby. What is that smell? So familiar. Cigars and rum? Baron Samedi. <laughs> okay, finally on episode two. Um, let me take down our new stats. So we're at 51 here. Diplomacy. 54. White magic, seven, black magic, pirate rep, 19. Yeah, and despite getting the plus six on the ship condition, since our ship was already um, dope, then uh, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, I can get the plus two now, because I don't think I've ever gone this far with white magic. Yeah, I haven't. I do. I've gone this far with black magic before. Um, so that's interesting. Okay, cool. Got our notes down. Um, let me go ahead and watch. Um, I'm going to watch the ad for this and then I'll watch the ad on the new page because I'm definitely going to need the diamonds because this story is expensive as heck. <laughs> so I've got all of my uh, new gems. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. Baron's presence scares and attracts. What does he foretell and what will all this lead to? Alrighty. Oh, I never get a picture of the new... the new screen that's pretty cool uh, but it looks very dangerous <laughs> all right chapter two unexpected guest the pirate escort ships were in no hurry to enter the port so as not to give away their identity too soon and provoke panic throughout the colony okay so just chilling out at sea waiting for us to figure out what's going on there were a lot of repairs underway on riptide Black Queen uh, peacefully unloaded and resupplied as if she was moored in her own um, her own, own home port, my goodness. And Adelaide was drawn by a familiar fragrance and a strange sense of foreboding. It's the kind of feeling one gets when alone in a cemetery. The girl had felt something similar at times before the fog appeared. But along with this ominous sensation, she wanted to hear the sounds of drums and rhythms of dance. Is this the Baron's presence? What would bring him here? Hmm. I don't know whether I should be rejoicing or worried. Still, I think I should worry because we're in the white magic wrap. He's not the most complacent god of death. And if the smell is on the wind, then trouble may be coming. And Adelaide went into town. Um, let me change clothes. Because you get a, a, a special dialogue option if you're in um, your 
Do I go this way? No, I don't know. If you're in um, your pirate kind of outfit. So I'm going to throw this one on. Um, let's see. We can throw this one on or we can go. Well, should we be in pirate outfit? <laughs> or should we try to like go in and like kind of regal like, I don't know. Pretty sure we got new, yeah, that one. Like, so should we go in like full pirate looking or should we go in like normal townsfolk looking? I don't know. Let's go, let's go in kind of like this. Um, I'm gonna change my stuff. Oh, also change my face a little bit. There you go. <laughs> um, let's figure out what we put on. We got some new earrings. Uh, that's fun. What else we got? Our tattoo, a mermaid tattoo. We can't really see it there. Oh, that's our sapphire necklace that we got from our friend. That's cool. I might take a peek at that after a while. Um, let's just put on, these earrings are pretty dope. Let's rock out like this. All right. Hmm. It's nice here. Santo Domingo is better, obviously, but what can only admire? The perseverance and dedication these people have invested in building their homes. Good evening. What's the matter? Oh yeah, he looks exactly like the guy off of uh, on Tortuga who took the our fees there. What's the matter? Um, but if you ask him if he has a brother, he kind of gets a, a little pissy about it. So I'm just gonna tell you nothing. It happens. Really, I hear it a lot. I guess I just took out one of those faces. Yeah, sure. So, what was I saying? This is your galleon, am I right? Yes. Why? There's a fee and a few simple questions answered. All right. Are you transporting exotic animals? Okay. So here's the thing. If you lie to him, <clears throat> about some of these things, then you get um, a plus one in strength. Um, and the message that says that we're secretive and don't let to reveal the truth. And it changes something that happens later. I know what that is, and I feel comfortable with doing that, but I don't know what happens if you just tell the truth and how that changes the situation. Um... I'm kind of, I kind of want to change the truth and tell the truth and see what he says. Um, I wonder if we'll get a plus one diplomacy for telling the truth. So I'm just going to do that and see what happens. Are you transporting exotic animals? Yes. Is there a chaplain amongst your crew? And what does this have to do with anything? It's a simple formality. Yes. All right. Has your ship figurehead, ship figurehead undergone any changes? Weird questions. They're nearly done with, please. I feel like he's giving information to Diego, though. Yes. Okay, so you do get the plus one diplomacy here if you tell the truth. Okay. You're quite open and unafraid of the truth. Okay. All that remains is a 10 pound fee. Here. Have a nice evening. Make yourselves at home. Okay. What a strange person. It's quite cozy here. The day was in full swing and the workers were very busy. The whole city bustled like an anthill. Strikingly different from Tortuga. The island had a playful, relaxed spirit. But here, the time seemed to have stopped. Everything is so peaceful. And then a local citizen noticed the girl. Is this your first visit? Uh, first time visiting our colony? How did you guess? You look around so attentively, and everyone knows and everyone knows everyone here. And how do you like our city? It's um I need all the diplomacy I can get, so peaceful and calm. After all the hectic ongoings in my life, I probably needed such a peaceful place. It's good to hear that. We live a quiet, balanced life, away from all the turmoil. We're proud of what we've accomplished. We finally abandoned slavery and we are trying to improve relations with the local people. 
We're developing trade arrangements with the old world. A tailor even has silk. Silk? Interesting. Where can I find this tailor? Right down the street. Have a nice day. The woman returned to her routine. I think it will be good to prepare myself for a meeting with the Baron. Good afternoon. Can I help you? I heard that you have beautiful textiles. It's always flattering to hear such high praise of oneself. Of course, I have fabrics and dresses to suit the most sophisticated tastes. I need an outfit for a meeting with a very important person. Oh. Are you meeting with the head of these lands? You could say that. Well, I will bring out something special for your meeting with the Governor General. Yes, the Governor General. I she sure wasn't sure what he was called, so she uh, didn't want to say anything untoward. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Ooh, that one's pretty. I might go with that. I don't think these have any effect on the story. No. I don't like that. I don't like that either. Now this. It's okay. Then we have this number. Which I don't necessarily like. Um, so I'm actually gonna choose this one because I like it the most. Don't hate me. <laughs> but I don't wanna pay 95 gems for this. Nor for this. Especially when I don't think it has an effect on the story at all, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna buy this one. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> Great choice. The silk is so soft. But I would like to make one comment. It's customary to wear hats in these lands, and I happen to have a few. Okay, wear a cute little bonnet. That one's cute. That's interesting. I don't like the hair underneath it. Okay. Um, let's go with this bonnet. I think this is pretty cute. That's pretty fun. I'll take this one. I'm a lady after all. You know, I think uh, last time I combined this with the, um, there's this net lace thing you can put over your face. That was kind of cool. Like one of these. Isn't that kind of pretty? I think that's kind of pretty. I like that. Or should we just wear some jewelry or something? Maybe like a necklace or something. Maybe something like that. It's a bit flashy. I kind of like the idea of that. I think that's kind of cute. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm a lady after all. Elegant and tasteful. And now, one last question. Of course. How do I reach the cemetery? <laughs> the tailor certainly explained how to get there. <clears throat> but he cannot hide the look of surprise in his eyes. I like to st I'd like to stop shocking innocent people. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. All right. As expected, my premonitions brought me here. This is the first grave right at the gate. Well then, let's get down to it. <clears throat> Adelaide drew the sign of Maman Brigitte. Hmm. Strange. Why is nothing happening? Shovel that was leaning against the fence fell near the girl. Really? Calm down or get angry. Uh, I think I need to be calm. Well, there's nothing I can do. No one ever said that dealing with spirits is simple. Sometimes one has to dig deeper. In a new dress. Oh, okay. It's falling away from that. No, you actually need to dig this grave open. <laughs> if you wanted to go to them. Damn it. I should calm down. He received a shovel and gripping the shovel tightly. Okay. So this is a series. Um, you can, you get like 10 choices and you have to keep uh, selecting dig instead of don't dig. Um, and this will get you um, black magic and white magic. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. The girl started to dig. 
I hope no one sees me now. Dick. 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 Keep going. Still got it. A little more. There it is. <laughs> Ali was digging as if possessed, without resting for a moment. There seemed to be a force driving her. Adelaide herself did not notice the world gradually changing with each shovel full of earth. <sighs> Already out here, okay. A living soul. So warm. Okay, now what do we do here? <clears throat> I think we're on a path of strength. Um, okay, let's see. You will be ours. One of us, one of us, one of. The earth was loosening, giving birth to more hordes of the dead who reached out toward Adelaide. Path of strength. I've already defeated you once. A blade flashed in her hand. You won't take me this time either. One of us. One of them had crept up behind Adelaide. Turn sharply. Take that. Gracefully, uh, turning on the spot, the girl knocked the cunning corpse head clean off. Uh, let's see. Okay. One of us. A large group of dead pirates crowded right in front of Adelaide, and her blade often caught in their bodies, making the fight difficult. Um, run behind a nearby tree. You won't get me. Okay. The tree was a safe haven, and our opponents were forced to split up, which played to Adelaide's strengths. One of us. Distracted by the battle and cutting down nearly every one of the dead she saw, Adelaide did not notice the newcomers had almost surrounded her. Um, move forward. Plus two strain. Woo! Okay. That's something interesting. I need to add that to the... I need to add that to the... What's the name? To the wiki. After crushing the last opponent in front of her, Adelaide broke forward. But the horde did not lag behind. Where are you all coming from? There seemed to be no end to them. One of us. You should not be here at all. This is not the dead man's locker. Enough. He looks like one of my spirits that's with me. The green one that's always on the left. Will he recognize me? Everything disappeared as though it had been a vision. So we finally meet face to face. And it's him. The girl looked around, discovering a fairy forest around her. The dead. Was that your doing? Do you wish to insult me? Of course not, but maybe I'm wrong, but isn't there a place in the locker? The locker is no longer governed by the laws. There was a revolt. And nothing else can hold back the lost souls. Now they destroy everything they touch. I already feel it myself. After all, this damage began in my waters. And I wither and die with my land. Can you control the dead? You assume that is within my power because I have a skull painted on my face? Um. Kinda? <laughs> um. Should I say no? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, no, yes. It doesn't matter, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, yeah, I kind of do. I've grown used to these masks. There are many of them in these lands. And also your attitude toward death is calmer. That's why I thought that. You're almost right. Life in my lands is hard and sometimes short. Those who inhabit my lands have no illusions about how things will end because they go hand in hand with death. And that is why these markings adorn my face. But that is all the natural course of things. These souls, on the other hand, have rotted from the inside. They exude a curse and are subject to completely different forces. We must Save them and give them peace. 
noble aspiration, but I'm not sure that they can be saved. However, I think we should talk about death in more detail with the day the deity is responsible for it. That is why you came here in the first place. And the grave dug by Adelaide fell into the abyss. Like a small wormhole dragging the entire world into it, fences, trees, land, and Adelaide herself. She fell rapidly. Uh, we've stumbled into Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> we fell down the rabbit hole or the grave, um, as you could say. But here we are um, with Baron. It's uh, interesting. Oh, ho, ho. Look what the cat dragged in. I see you missed me. There's an easier way to see me, you know. I thought it was you who wanted to see me. Don't think I was so fond of you. I almost forgot your smell. Here we go again. Behave. She's a visitor. And there's probably something important that brings her here. You can wait. We have an eternity ahead. We do. But not her. I just... There was a smell of cigars and rum, and I knew right then that you were nearby. I was curious. Why was I so close to a god of death? Want to know what else I'm god of? Don't interrupt her. <laughs> On the way to you, I encountered the dead. Is it really impossible to calm them? It is. I even feel sorry for them. Unlike Samedi's zombie puppets, which he creates for fun. <laughs> there are souls in these bodies. Exhausted, yearning souls who cannot find peace. Having suffered at the bottom of the locker, they are ready for anything. And after escaping to the surface, they'll kill anyone in their path. Just for the sake of sharing their loneliness with someone. What's all this nonsense? They lived like trash and they died as such. No one misses them, and there was no one perform rituals for them when they died. No one remembers them, so they got what they deserved. The grave. It's only, it's only the penultimate stop. All the fun begins after death. But I won't let such rascals into my party. They didn't need anybody. And now nobody needs them. Let them enjoy how their bodies are devoured by maggots. Ooh. I don't disagree. To be honest. But I need my white magic. So. <laughs> With all the cruelty they experience, you yourself drove them to behave like this. You created an army for the enemy with your own hands. The locker was overcrowded long before the fog began to eat everything in its path. This does not negate the fact that innocents are now suffering in it, and you should be ashamed. Am I even capable of shame? Even those who should be under your care are taken, and end up caught up in this cruelty instead. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's right. She's right. Eh. These things we waste time on. Two beautiful ladies. My gorgeous self. All the music of the world at our disposal. Imbibements and beyond your imagination. And your duty to fulfill your responsibilities. Don't strain yourself, dear. It's just some stunted skulls, uh, ghouls who have forgotten what life is. As soon as the fog goes beyond the limits, we will show them what it means to play with death. Yes, we're strong. And if we were in a little Adelaide's place, we'd likely have managed to settle matters a long time ago. But then, it is the world of mortals, where Loa, such as ourselves, can't succeed all the time. And there are still many people whose lives are cut short by the fog. Yes, everyone will die one day. This isn't a reason to be sad, but it is a reason to perk up your ears and be prepared to help the skull in a crucial moment. That goes without saying. So, I can count on your help with dealing with the dead? And what's in it for me? You're incorrigible. That's why you love me. It's true. <laughs> the Baron came very close to Adelaide, looming over her. You don't understand how to live at all. Um, you aren't the one to teach me. <laughs> um, I'm fine. Tell me how to live then. With great pleasure. And even a small demonstration. Hey, look baby. Everything is simple, and I don't understand why you people don't realize it for yourselves. Say you have some troubles. They consume you. It's getting harder for you to solve problems. And what are you doing? You're straining. 
You're straining from the effort and for no reason. Until your strength abandons you. Poof. It's gone. Now you have even less strength for solving problems. And you're even more tense. And you keep dancing this cheerful dance until, sadly, you arrive right in my hands. As a final touch, Flores, Tometi grabbed Adelaide by her butt, <laughs> dragging her closer to him. His voice dropped to a sly whisper. But if you just relax a while and enjoy life. Enough! Did you just start this lecture, the whole lecture just to seduce Adelaide? I think she's quite all right with it. Don't be shy. Come, join us. There's plenty of me for everyone. And Samedi leaned over to kiss Adelaide. Okay. So, I think this option, you sleep with him, I don't know. The this option is to sleep with her, and this option is to have a threesome. <laughs> oh my god! Or you can refuse. Um, I think this gives you pirate rep, white magic, and black magic, or something like that. Um, like down the line, that right away. This one is black magic. This one's white magic. Um, I. I'm just gonna ask her to join. <laughs> I really don't mind. And the girl kissed him back. Kissing a spear was always something special. Hmm. Encased in the passionate kiss, a wave of intoxication washed over Adelaide, and a feeling of unbridled reverie was taking over her. She felt everything that one does when engaged in wild, crazy fun. Her cheeks were burning, and her breathing was suddenly heavy. What are you doing to me? <laughs> her face is hilarious. Are you having second thoughts? Okay. Getting it out with more spirits. But this is only the beginning. He grabbed the girl and spun her 180 degrees with a swift movement, pressing himself softly against her back and firmly holding her breast. <laughs> Leaning over, he whispered in her ear, I'm not a big fan of foreplay. I want everything at once. His hands crept lower, and her outfit melted like frost under them. This is a present for me. Okay, we can choose some lingerie. That one's kind of fun. Do these give you something? Um, I don't think they do. Oh, that one's fun. Vintage, interesting. I kind of like this one. It feels all flowery and pretty. I like it. <laughs> now have fun. Wait, don't go. You are on a third wheel here. Adelaide stepped away from the Baron, and with an uneven gait, she moved toward Baguette. Thank you for the gift. And she kissed her. <laughs> There's no reason to leave. Stay with us. Or rather, join us. You're a brave girl. And what did I tell you? Only, you're weighing far too much for this. And Adelaide fearlessly stripped off the goddess's clothes. <laughs> this is not suitable for children. <laughs> now we're on the same level. Um, hit it off with one of them. Is a white magic plus black magic choice, so I'm gonna go hit it off with Briquette. <clears throat> and Adelaide began passionately kissing Briquette, caressing her back. At first, Briquette was somewhat stunned, but then she got into things. <laughs> oh my god, these faces are hilarious. I love them. Oh my god. And she began to stroke Adelaide's back and thighs. <laughs> the best I've ever seen. He came to the side, running his hands over both of their bottoms, but his action didn't seem to distract them. Enjoying one another, they seemed uh, not to have noticed him. Will I ever get a piece of the action? <laughs> Although, I don't mind watching. Then Baron began kissing Briquette passionately. Honey, I've missed you so much. It seems you haven't been together for a long while. Um, I think this is also black magic and white magic. Yeah. 
I think they could use some time. And I think you need it. Ali stepped aside a little, and the couple took care of each other. The bear was not exactly tender. He pushed her down on the ground. Perhaps she'd forgotten how strong I can be. And then flipping her onto her belly, he got on top and rode her. Jesus. From the side, Smitty's movements and actions seemed rather crude. But Adelaide hardly had time to think over it as the Baron grabbed her and pulled her towards him, kissing her passionately. She sounds too loudly. We should keep her mouth busy. Sit in front of her. Now, not fully understanding what he was demanding, Adelaide sat before the moaning goddess, and the Baron firmly took his wife by the hair and turned her face between Adelaide's thighs. Brigitte quickly realized what she should do. Adelaide thought these crestus might last forever, but Samedi was not the sort to stay still, and he controlled the action. The positions and roles changed over and over. Now she lay on top of Brigitte, passionately biting her shoulders and breast. Jeez! <laughs> While Samedi altern altern uh, alternately took care of each of them. Be bolder. What? Suddenly the rebellious woman threw him on his back. You thought this was all for you? Adelaide said, riding him. It's actually you who's entertaining us. She said while straddling his face. <laughs> and so not to moan too loudly, the girls leaned toward each other and kissed. They had tried every possible combination and a little of what seemed impossible. And as a result, completely exhausted, they lay side by side. Oh my gosh. I've already forgotten how insatiable you are. And I... I understand how much I missed you, my love. Oh. <laughs> Just now? <laughs> maybe there was nobody to be jealous of. Maybe I'd already start to consider you boring. Or maybe... Yes. <laughs> Hell knows. Maybe we just needed someone to bring us together again. To hell with it. What's the point of thinking about it? We need to relax and enjoy what has happened here. I think I should leave you alone now. After all, I have affairs in the motor world. Go on and clothes magically began to reappear on the girl. I completely lost track of things with the dead and forgot to ask the most important thing. Why are you here in this boring colony? Do you like these places? <laughs> this place is starting to grow on me. Oh no. It's about to join my legion of re revelers. What? The Powhatan have decided to get back at them for everything the white colonists ever did. I love these Puritan women, especially their faces when they see me. Why didn't you say that? My friends are there. So you can wait for them here? No. Ali became nervous and the world around her distorted. <clears throat> okay, and she suddenly found herself in reality. Something is burning. She rushed to the city as quickly as she could. Kill them all. Do not spare anyone as they did not spare us. The chief moved towards the woman with the knife. Wait. I see another one. Shoot her. The warrior turned around and almost without aiming pulled the trigger. Warmth and light filled Adelaide. Save yourself or save everyone. This is important. You're gonna need this. So I would suggest go ahead and save everyone. A warm light streamed from the girl's hands and eyes. <clears throat> Ow. Blinded, the warrior missed. Spirits, please accept the sacrifice. The pearl girl was dying on the pavement. No blood will be shed today. I'm alive. The wound her neck healed as quickly as it had appeared. Are the spirits against us? It cannot be. They just need a bigger sacrifice. Burn everything to the ground. Okay. So let's take down um, our new standings. Okay, so we're at 60 on strength. 55 on diplomacy. 61 on white magic. And we gained a lot of white magic this turn. Seven points? That's pretty good. Um, pirate rep up to 20. 
Okay, we're moving along. We're getting close. Um, for white magic, we're only gonna need 64, but I think we have to give some points away to somebody coming up, I think. Um, so I'm gonna need those extra points. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and watch these ads so I can get my diamonds, because goodness knows I need them. They are dropping fast and we are just beginning uh season four like uh yeah this is just the first two episodes and it was already a lot of gems spent already this is gonna be a very expensive coming up so uh <sighs> okay <laughs> we got this craziness going on and i don't even know we'll have to figure all that mess out next time but if you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video go ahead and show it some love um subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i will see you next time bye